In the previous video I showed how the point query info works. Now let's take a look how the segment query info works. So I'm going to open it up and as you see segment queries return more information than just a simple yes or no. They also return where a shape was hit and its surface normal at the hit point. This object holds the information and segment queries are like array casting but because not all spatial indexes allows processing infinitely long array queries it is limited to segments okay so i prepared here a scene with uh, circle which is dynamic body uh, you can see it from its color dynamic bodies had has this light bluish color and two kinematic bodies with this greenish color and a, a static segment uh, with this um, whitish color and uh, here in the mouse press window event i'm going to create the segment query segment underscore q for query equals the space that segment segment query first segment query first so it needs a start starting point i'm going to give it zero zero which is the lower left corner of the window and ending point which will be the mouse x and the mouse y um, and let me take over. yeah yes the radius it will be one or and uh, pi among the shape filter pi among that shape filter okay so let's print out this segment query segment q mm, let me take a look here in the console so as you see it gives us none but when i click uh, on one of the shapes i mean try to imagine that this ray or line starts from the zero zero and goes to the mouse click so when it intersects this line intersects as a shape it will return this shape so as you see uh, it returned the poly object and uh, also the vector or the point where the line intersects uh, with the shape okay so i'm going to ask here that if segment query then print out uh, colon then print out the segment query um, that shape and also the segment query that shape that body so let's take a look now so here it intersected intersected with the circle object and here is the circus body and now let's draw this uh, this ray so First of all, I'm going to create a variable here, so-called so contact uh, contact point. Set it equal to segment query segment query that point segment query that point. Okay, and now let's draw a line, and this will be equal to pi monk among that segment segment yeah and it will be a space that static body static body um, it 
will start at 0, 0, and it will go to the contact point, which is a vector 2, and it, its thickness or the radius is 1. And then make it a sensor, so a line that uh, 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 yes, line that sensor sensor equals true and let's set the body position line that body but position position will be equal to 0 comma 0 and let's add it to the space so space that add mm, add and the line. Okay, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Something uh, missing, something here. Space it out the line. Yes, okay. I'm not missing, uh, but it only draws the line when uh, when the line hits something so let's say here is a circle as you see when i'm when i'm behind an object it draws a line and it ends the line when it hits the object so this is why i, I saved the contact point and the law line is starts from 0, 0 in Windows coordinates and goes to the contact point. So let's draw a line uh, else even if we don't hit a, a shape I'm going to copy this or all this and first of all, I'm going to print out no hit and copy. So let's um, create this and uh, the cont uh, contact point I'm going to replace with mouse X and mouse Y. Let me take a look. Yes, so when the line does not intersect with any shape, it just prints out no hit and it draws the line. And when it intersects a shape, let's say here, then it prints out the shape and its body. Here the circle shape and its body. So it's a good way to create ray casting using PyMonk. So I'm just going to define a function, a first schedule function, so clock pilot.clock that schedule schedule once and I'm going to define a function called remove line and it will run every one second and here I'm going to define this function so diff remove line remove line and we are going to loop through the shapes in the space so for shape in uh, space dot shapes and I'm going to ask if the shape is a sensor shape is sensor sensor then space dot remove the shape okay so now when we draw the line after one second the pilot.clock the schedule will will call this remove line function which will remove uh, the line segments 
Okay, it takes. Okay, it needs also uh, delta time. So I'm going to create here dt. Now it should work. So no hit. After one second, the line is removed. When it hits, let's say this um, uh, bluish circle, it prints out the shape and the body and uh, also the body's mass, its moment of inertia and the body type, which is dynamic. Let's take a look. Uh, this is a kinematic body or as you see, circle and a body kinematic and this is a static line segment. So when it hits it, it just prints out segment and the body type or the body. So it's a very good way to actually create some interesting ray casting. In games. And let me take a look. Uh, so it's 11 minutes. I'm just going to quickly uh, take a look on, on, on the third query info, which is the shape query info. So I created a point query info and in this video the segment query info and just quickly look at how the shape query info looks like because I don't want to create a separate video for it. So I prepared here this shape query.py and where is this shape query? And when I move so it has two objects, two circles, and this green is is a, a kinematic body. So I made that it can, I can move it with the arrow keys. And this bigger static uh, circle, static body, is is a sensor. So first of all how to move uh, uh, body is setting its velocity and when you go to the right then the velocity will be on x uh, 250 and on y 0 and when you go to left it velocity is negative 250 and so on and so forth and also the bigger circle um, is a sensor so the static circle and when it hits when the two shapes are touching so i'm creating a space that shape query with the circle shape which is the bigger uh, circle and if the two shapes are touching it will print out some information so let me take a look. I'm going to move this window here and let's move the kinematic circle into this white static circle. And as you see, it printed out. The circle and its body, so the circle shape and its body, and also a contact point set. You can read here it is contact point set, and also a vector two. I'm printing it. Contact point set that point zero, that point A. It prints out where the two bodies intersects. 